Lowellville rallied around the school when there was a shooting in the cafeteria this spring, and now the village is doing it again while carrying hurt for the lives which were lost last night and how they'll have to work through it. Ruth Shipley heard sirens last night. Then her niece called. She was checking on Ruth and told her what was happening. So I immediately went and double locked all my doors and put lights on. That was while police were still looking for the shooter. They found him, which eased Shipley's mind. She's lived in Lowellville for 43 years and walks outside often. She understands times have changed. We have to say we aren't just a sleepy little community. Things happen anywhere. Shipley was around in the 1990s and remembers an incident where a young lady was trying to get a restraining order against a man who wouldn't leave her alone. She was murdered. This house was raised and now that property is next door to last night's incident. No connection to the families. Just the most incredible coincidence I can imagine. Awful. Shipley's family has installed doorbell cameras at her house for safety. She will continue her walks in Lowellville. It connects her to the town she loves. I refuse to be afraid of people, you know? I, I believe people are inherently good. I think this is a wonderful community, and I think we just have to be a little more cautious because things are changing. And Ruth Chipley remembers a time when you didn't have to lock your doors in Lowellville. She knows that's not the case anymore, but she still sees plenty of good when she's walking around the village. In Lowellville, Dave Sess, WKBN 27 First News. All right. Thank